You about to be married. I know. Victoria, I think it's funny that we've known each other for so long, and it's been long enough that I'm not sure if I even know where our path truly began. I believe that our marriage was put into place a long time ago, and that every encounter leading up to the first date was a subtle reminder of that. God knew I wasn't ready for you, and that I needed to be patient. On our first date, you walked in in some tight jeans and a black leather jacket, and I knew that I was done for. We hadn't said a word, and I was thinking of all the possibilities our future held. Never in my wildest dreams did I think you'd actually put up with me for this long. I'm so incredibly grateful for everything you've given me, but the biggest and the best is your time and your heart. It's my daily prayer that I'm deserving of a love this wonderful by a partner that is equally as wonderful. I wake up every single day knowing that I love you and that I always will. Hunter, I used to look up at the stars to wish and pray for someone to choose me and be excited about me. me to fight for me, to wake up and pick me every day. And you've done that consistently for six whole years. I've never once doubted your love for me and that makes me the luckiest girl in the world. Your kindness and genuine concern and consideration for others is part of what made me fall for you. You take care of people and live honorably. Your integrity and empathy for others has always shown me how good of a man you are. You're pretty funny too. I'm so proud to call you mine forever, baby. I promise to try to make you laugh every day so I never have to see the smile leave your eyes. I love you, Hunter. Let's get married. Your wife and best friend, your new Mrs. Helton, Victoria, fun sucker, Matthias. Holy shit. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs>
But I do have some bad news. There's a bomb at this wedding. Your butt. Your butt is the bomb. <laughs> and there will be no survivors. <laughs>